everyone! We are going on vacation to Austria tomorrow, so I will be packing my bag and Romy's bag. And I just wanted to show you what I pack. I have been a traveler for so many years and I used to travel a lot professionally as a performing artist. I was always going all over the place uh, within Europe and also a lot of overseas flying. I lived in the States for years and I came back to Germany to visit probably a couple times a year. And also since I've been back in Germany, I've been traveling a lot. And like last year I went to the States twice and then to London and then I go to Austria and then we go other places. I used to pack a lot of stuff and I've learned that a lot of things that you actually pack you don't use. So I think a lot of experience really helps you figure out what you actually use as you travel as you're gone and what you don't. And of course, having been on this journey to become more minimalistic, minimalist, become more of a minimalist, I really have rethought a lot of things that I pack because even at home I use less and now when I travel I use even less. So let me show you what we packed. All right, so this is my backpack and that's all I'm taking with me. And let me show you, I'm gonna unpack it with you now. This is my pillow, and this is so important to me. I have just really good sleep, but my pillow has to be just right. This is one of those foamy pillows. I just roll it up and put it in here, and I take it everywhere. I take it on airplanes. I take it everywhere, and the cool thing is that with this backpack right here, there's this loop right here, and you could just hook it up and it's just so cool. When I sit on an, in an airplane, I actually open this up and I put it underneath my booty and I sit on top of it during the flight. It makes those cushions so much softer. So I, I love my pillow. I go nowhere over any length of time to sleep without my pillow. Okay, so here's my backpack. Let me show you what's in there. In the front, I have this bag with my pills, like my vitamins, and uh, this is my menstrual cup, because I'm expecting and Flo to show up during our vacation, bummer. Um, and then these are my vitamins. I pack pretty minimalistically, but I decided this time that I'm just gonna go ahead and sort them into here, because then I don't, I don't need to, like all the bottles, but I do need compartments because otherwise I get all messed up because I take like, I don't know, five or six different kinds of supplements, like, you know, all these good things that you need, magnesium and iron and vitamin B12, um, especially I'm going to be doing lots of hiking, so that means um, physical exercise every day, so I'm taking this. This is in here. All right, unzip this. And, well, let me first show you. This is like so nice and deep. I just love this because it also stays open. You can really get to stuff. I love this bag. I will link it up below. It's this Reisentel. I don't know how that is anywhere else in the world, but here in Germany, this is a big, very popular brand for anything bags and organizational kind of bags. First and foremost, sun protection. I got my cap, really important because it's gonna be a lot of sun on top of the mountain, if it's not raining, of course. And then I got just one of those loop scarves, just in case it gets a little chilly, which it can on top. And um, this is a little baggie where I just have all my sleeping stuff, which means these are wax earplugs and this is just an eye mask. Because I wake up when it's light outside, so like if I wanted to sleep in a little bit, I would need to make it dark. And some more hair clips that were actually still in this thing. So that's that. Oh, next actually, I'm taking some washing powder. And yes, I'm taking it in a glass jar, because since we are making the trip by car, and we are not going on an airplane, it doesn't matter what it weighs, and it's not really heavy, taking just washing powder, so I have to pack less clothes. Really think about it. If you actually just pack enough for two or three days, you can wash the stuff. You can wash your clothes, hang them up. And if you take 
clothes that dry quickly, it's just a good idea just to wash them or at your destination get some washing powder. I just got this because I, yeah, I just want to take it with me. I want to worry about buying any and it's going to last me to wash all our clothes. All right, the next thing, I'm going to wear my hiking shoes just on the drive probably and these are teaks. I love teaks. They're really expensive but they are very comfortable flats and they fold up and they're made of genuine leather and they're very stretchy and so when we're going out to a restaurant in the evening I'll put these on and these just get so small it's just so easy to pack them. The next thing, very important, is all my bathroom stuff and I'm just taking everything I think I might need. There's soap. It's just a bar of soap. I wash my face with it. I wash my hair with it. I wash my body with it. I got a razor. I got some conditioner and this is all natural organic conditioner. I like it. There's my facial cream. There is... Um, just some shea butter which is actually made into a deodorant so this is my deodorant this is a little bit of shea butter for my lips I just love to moisturize my lips I do it every night before I go to bed otherwise I can't really fall asleep these are my let me actually open it up these are my makeup remover pads just in case I need to wear some eye makeup these are washable I just take the bar of soap and wash them I got a toothbrush. This is a bamboo toothbrush. I got some cologne because we're there with a big group of people and we want to go out nicely sometimes, so I got this. And this is my makeup remover that I make myself. It's just half aloe gel and half olive oil. And yeah, and there's some body lotion that I like. It's citrus body lotion that is also organic. I love it. and some a dental floss thingy. And I actually got a couple in here for Romy also if she needs it. And lastly, you were you've been wondering where are the clothes? Right here. So this is my compression packing cube. I love this one. And all my clothes that I will take with me pretty much fit in here except for jackets I put jackets separately since we are taking the car I will just hang them up in the car and not pack them because otherwise they get all wrinkly and they take up a lot of space so but these are all my clothes that I'm gonna wear directly on my body and um, Montreux this is the brand of the packing cube I, I love this I have a few of these but I have really only been using one of this and everything is in here and I'm gonna unpack it to show you what clothes I'm actually taking all right, let me unzip it. Oh, I didn't uncompress. I need to do that zipper too, actually. Okay, so all my clothes are in here. I'm taking one white bra and let's see, where is it at? Can I find it? One black sports bra. Since I will be going hiking every day, um, I'm going to wash this and then of course when we go out nice I can wear this one and I'll show you it works really well because I have some white shirts and whenever I'm wearing white shirts though those are the nicer kind of shirts I can wear this one and any other shirt like if I'm wearing a black one or a sports shirt I can wear this one. Taking one sweater for when it gets a little cooler I love this one it's really nice and soft. One sleeping shirt, one running shirt. It's the quick dry material to dry really quickly so I can wash it and it'll be dry in no time in an hour or two or so. And another long sleeved running shirt which is also useful. You can layer that, to, you know, put it over the short sleeved one and then layer, which you will see I'll have more to layer on. I have just one black t-shirt, one white t-shirt and one other white t-shirt. These are neutral colors and they go with everything else that I have. One beige cardigan which I'm only going to use whenever we're going out in the evening and I need a jacket. 
A couple of pairs of socks. Yeah, I'm trying this. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm wearing these for the hike and then I will wash them in the evening and when I go out to, to the restaurant wearing my teaks, I'm not gonna wear any socks with them and so, you know, I can always wash them overnight, let them hang and they'll be good the next day and if they're not, I can always wear these. These are like a little thicker and these are a little thinner. And then I got four pairs of black undies and one pair of white ones. And then I got a pair of black leggings because when I want to do the really more demanding kind of hikes where I'm like really doing a workout, I just want to wear those capri leggings and one pair of jeans and they have this kind of drawstring and it's it they're comfortable so I could also use them for hiking and I can also use them you know going out in the evening and yes I'm taking this pair but I'm also going to wear one pair of capris tomorrow when we're driving with a car. So I'll have these and I'll also have the caprice that are, you know, ankle length or so. So these are all the clothes I'm taking with me plus the ones I will be wearing on my body. And just a little tip, whenever you're going on an airplane, try to wear lots of layers when you're getting on the plane. Um, and you never know, sometimes the planes are really freezing cold. Sometimes they're very stuffy and hot. But layer it on and you can always take off a couple of layers when you're sitting in the airplane and you're getting too hot. But instead of putting it in your luggage, put it on you. In most airports, when you arrive, they're not hot. They're climatized and sometimes, especially in the States, they're pretty cool inside. Okay, let's lay it all down again. stuff nice and compact and now let me show what Romy packed I let her pack I told her kind of the numbers of items that we needed at least and then of course she could pack whatever else she wanted but I told her only one suitcase and then she can take one backpack for on the way you know like she can have some toys or like something her pens and pencils or something to draw so Romy's suitcase, we actually got gifted the suitcase uh, from our neighbor actually already about three years ago and we've had it and it works fine. So we have never bought any luggage for Romy because she's had this. Now well, let's see what she packed. I have no idea even. Okay, this is her bathroom stuff with her toiletries, just toothbrush, toothpaste and like, I don't know, she likes, she has some dental floss. What else she got in here? Oh, lip gloss and uh, oh, some shea butter in a little bitty thingy. Let me close this up. Is she any? No, nothing else in here. So I'm very proud of her. She didn't take along all the stuff that she normally wants to take because I told her don't take too much. We're going to go hiking all day, so no need for more. And then... We got a packing cube for her also. It's not a compression one, it's just a normal one, but she also likes these packing cubes. And this is where her, oh, she put her shampoo in here. Okay, she could have put in the other thing, but yeah. She likes her girl's shampoo because it is great at detangling her hair. One stuffed animal, I told her to limit it to one and I asked her also, do you think we need any more? She said, no, we don't need any more because we have like a hundred of them and I don't want her to buy another when we're gone on vacation because we always come back with more. We don't need that. Okay, she's got a couple of sweaters and these are great. These are, oh, I love these sweaters. They're also quick drying. They got some stains here, but these are gonna be drying very quickly. She's gonna probably wear these every single day. And in this packing cube, we've got her night sleeping shirt, socks, and underwear. And in this packing cube, and I'm not gonna 
undo everything, but you might be able to see it through the mesh. She's got leggings, um, some long, I think three pairs of long and two pairs of capri leggings, which she wears every single day. She's got a couple of long sleeve t-shirts and three short sleeved t-shirts. And I think that's about it. Um, plus the sweaters, plus we're going to take a couple of jackets because the weather might, I think it's going to start out nice and warm in the valley. It's going to be really hot on the mountain top. It's going to be quite a bit cooler and then it's supposed to cool down generally next week. And so, mm, yeah, then it's going to only be like nine Celsius on the mountain top, which is cold. So we we need to be prepared for all kinds of temperatures. That's why we need to take a couple of jackets. And so, yeah, it's nice and neat. And Romy loves this. I like that I can already tell she's getting on board with like being organized, making things look pretty and like, just so that you can find things easier. And so now we're gonna do this and close this up. And then we've got our bags right here. So I hope this gave you maybe some ideas and maybe a little bit of inspiration how you, or might, what you might not wanna pack or what you might wanna pack for your next trip. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me know that you appreciate what I do. I put in a lot of work into these videos. And of course it helps YouTube know that maybe it'll show the video to others. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, I would love it so much if you would return and be a subscriber. Have a wonderful blessed day and I hope to see you soon next time in the Austrian Alps. Bye.